and um, they, after a few days of still being in the state, after they administered medication, I started, and people, my friends and my family came to visit me, and they started, took a lot of convincing, <laughs> but like people were like, you have gone through something, and you, uh, the people around me had to come and just talk to me and support me and tell me I wasn't a terrible person, I'm not going to die, I, I had a, some type of mental breakdown and um, it took a while and I just realized that and um, it took my, it took like a week of just being in the hospital and um, I was, you know, diagnosed as being bipolar that week and um, told that it's probably not a good idea for me to ever smoke or drink ever again and, but in reality it took me about three, three years probably after that to really accept that and uh, um, I'm sober now um, but it's always a struggle and God knows what's going to happen uh, it's just something that I have to deal with day to day uh, when I start to drink and smoke and when I start to go against <clears throat> stay up all night and, and lose sleep and I don't take care of myself I hurt myself and I don't enjoy it and it's something I had to step back and look at the whole big picture to realize